Hi everybody, this is Michael Rogers, Vice President Communications, and we're talking with Rob Fowler, SPAM's President and CEO. Rob, you recently participated in Lansing in a very interesting panel that took a look at the state's budget problems and some of the prospects for the future. Why don't you give our viewers an overview of what that panel discussion was about? Well, the panel discussion was hosted by the uh, Center for Michigan as a part of their Michigan's Defining Moment campaign. And it was really a citizen engagement effort to try to get people from all across the state to come together and talk about really the, the main issue that's vexing the state today, which is the budget, and as a result of that conversation, taxation in the state. So it was a panel of people representing business. Uh, I was one of three panelists representing business, uh, others representing sort of the spending interests or unions or, um, in one case, uh, uh, Dan Gilmartin from the Michigan Municipal League. So all kinds of interest on the seven-person panel. So with that diversity of interest, I bet there was quite a range of discussion around yes, this topic. There was, yes. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, there, was a, um, there was quite a division in terms of both question of state spending and taxation. Uh, interestingly, there was a process that was involved. And the process had everyone in the, in the audience voting. Everybody was asked to vote on four things. Which tax would you increase? Which tax would you decrease? Which spending item would you increase? And which one would you decrease? Uh, and the result of that was uh, people in this audience, at least, agreed that the place to, to increase spending would be K-12 education. The place to decrease it would be corrections. The tax to increase would be a sales tax on service, or to broaden the, the tax maybe lower the rate but broaden the tax. That was what the audience said. And uh, the tax to decrease was the Michigan business tax uh, as a result of the panel discussion and the arguments being made. So Rob, what kind of perspective did you add yeah. as a representative of the small business community? Yeah, I used the analogy that we've been talking about all over the place, and that is if you were a struggling business, and if, if the state was a struggling business, um, you might very well say that what we have is a revenue problem. Uh, that's the debate that's going on right now. Does the state have enough revenue? Uh, but if you want it, and, and if you were a struggling business, you would very much have a revenue problem. But how would you get to better revenue is the question. Would you raise prices in a tough economy? <coughs> would, you, um, would you cut all your employees and, and your capacity to deliver the product? You would not. You would do some combination of improving your sales, not your, not your price, and cutting and right-sizing your company. That's really been our argument all along. That's, that's what leads us to a reform agenda, that we ought to be talking about uh, reforming government, the way, we, uh, the way we conduct government, or con the way government conducts itself, to be as efficient as possible, to, be, uh, to make strategic investments in things that will help us go forward, um, but not at the moment to raise taxes, not as a first impulse to raise taxes, uh, but uh, to be strategic in the way we make cuts and make investments so that we can chart a course forward. That's really been our message all along. That was my main input to this, uh, this debate. So, Rob, at the conclusion of the program, in light of all this discussion, was there any indication of a consensus as we move forward in trying to address this issue? Well, I don't know about consensus, and I think uh, there probably was not at the end of the day. But um, I think a lot of people in the audience were surprised at the civility of the conversation. Uh, we didn't come at this as partisans. We came at it as policy people with a policy perspective. Uh, we got along. We, we uh, spoke kindly to each other. We didn't really, uh, I think people f fully expected a, a big knockdown drag out of people who didn't agree. Uh, and, and that didn't happen. Uh, we didn't reach consensus, but I think we had, uh, th there was an interesting consensus among the audience um, uh, that that was even discussed as a sort of grand bargain. If you traded off these things against each other, was there a, a way forward there? Uh, I think we'll hear a lot more about sales tax on services. I think we'll hear a lot more about cutting the MBT. Uh, I think we'll hear a lot more about strategic investments as uh, this budget debate continues over the next year or two. Rob Fowler is SBAM's president and CEO. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mike.